Hugh Wilders uh, famously quipped that Islam is a retarded religion. And the implication to me is quite clear that if you follow Islam, you are somehow stunted by it. You're kept back intellectually, morally, uh, socially, perhaps, scientifically, politically even. Uh, in other words, it's just a, a, a religion that keeps its adherence in the darkness and somehow back uh, in, the, in the grand drama of human advancement. Uh, Mr. Wilders isn't the only one who, uh, who holds that view. He's just one of its more loud-lunged um, apologists or intellectuals, if you want to call him that. There are plenty of other people who actually believe the same thing. Now, to me, that is um, the uh, an old idea of there are people of darkness and people of light repackaged. Um, it's not a new idea. Um, it's uh, It's been around for quite a while, and it uh, took on a particularly sinister form in the middle of the last century in the West, where um, white people, one day it seemed they looked around and they noticed that the entire world was basically ruled by white people, colonial empires or countries that were just dominated by um, Caucasian people at the very top of the social system, and they concluded, of course, uh, conveniently, that white people were inherently superior. Um, and they pointed their, to the scientific advancement of Western civilization, uh, the fact that uh, white people were eradicating diseases, illiteracy, uh, were uh, advancing rapidly scientifically, while the non-white races were sort of not going in that general direction quite as rapidly. Um, so they said that, well, the people of darkness are the dark-skinned people, the people of light are the light-skinned people. So you can basically just tell by looking at somebody whether or not they're darkness or light. That thinking actually was a lot more common and a lot more mainstream. In fact, it was utterly mainstream uh, than people today realize. All you got to do is read the literature of the late 19th, early 20th century, and you'll see that that is the case. In, in other words, um, they would argue, the, the 19th century people would argue that um, sort of the reverse, but just a, a, a switching of the cart and the horse of Mr. Wilders' position, they would say that instead of uh, Wilders, uh, who says that you're held back by Islam, um, they would have said that people follow Islam because they're naturally inferior. But it's just basically two different ways of saying the same thing. These people, they just happen to be the same people now as they were then, are inferior. They're in darkness. They are retarded. We are, we now, not being a racial term, supposedly, I don't believe that, by the way, if it's not clear yet already, we just happen to be advanced because we've, um, we've uh, jettisoned religion, whereas these Muslim people have not jettisoned religion, and they just happen to be dark-skinned people. <clears throat> now, I said something in my previous video that a lot of people found objectionable. Uh, that was that the if if an equivalent of the Third Reich, if the equivalent of a Nazi state were to take over uh, in, a, in a modern Western country, its most ardent adherents or its most ardent intellectual apologists would be the aggressive, militant, offensive, in-your-face atheists. Because these people subscribe to a theory which really, at least the way I see it, doesn't really differ a great deal from the Nazi theories on race. White people are the people of light, the people of science, the people of progress, the people of modernity. Dark-skinned people are the people who uh, live in darkness, who are backward, stupid, um, uh, scientifically backward, uh, and basically only fit to be ruled by the uh, more advanced people. It, it's not that kind of belief in the uh, advanced and retarded people is almost never um, described racially anymore, but it's still every bit as current as it's ever been. It's just that the criteria for being one of the one of the peoples of light and the peoples of darkness has got a new justification. It's almost as if it's just a coincidence now that white people happen to be the people of light and dark-skinned people happen to be the people of darkness. It, it's just a coincidence that that's the way it pans out in real life. 
but just looking at things in a certain way um, would actually uh, would actually show that the two points of view the point of view that um, that uh, not only is religion sort of a um, something that an atheist or a free thinker wouldn't subscribe to atheism act or religion actually makes people stupid and somehow subhuman in particular the Islamic religion that's why I say that there is a similarity between a certain tendency in atheism and Nazism I'm not saying that atheism equals Nazism that atheism is likely to lead anyone to Nazism or it's a slippery slope or anything like that what I'm saying is is that there is a certain school of thought in militant atheism that does indeed divide humanity into the superior and the inferior that's why I call Islamophobia racist thank you